Hey guys, I am going to do a uh, sort of maybe a quick get ready with me video. I have to leave the house in like 10 minutes or 9 minutes or whatever. And so I thought I would do um, a quick chit chat e ish video. I'm trying to use up the last of this foundation so I can get a new one. But uh, how are you? I won't know until you leave me a comment down below, but um, what am I going to talk about today? Okay, um, let's talk weight loss. I know that that can be like a touchy subject and for some people, but I got to get this off my chest and hopefully it'll keep me accountable, but I have gained some weight and I'm not happy about it. And I know like you guys are so nice. A few people, like, when I've commented a couple times, they're like, oh, you look, you look great, you look fabulous. But you guys, like, you can see my face. You can't see down below. But, I mean, even, you can't deny that I've got, like, an extra little chin situation going on there. Um, and it also comes down to the fact that this is, like, the heaviest I've ever been besides when I was pregnant. And when I was pregnant, um, I didn't lose... So from the time I was pregnant, I never lost all the weight from pregnancy. Like straight up, I gained like 70 pounds when I was pregnant. That is a lot. That is like double the recommended amount. And I realized like when you're pregnant, you know, don't put pressure on yourself. And I didn't like, I knew that it would take me a little bit of time to lose the weight. Like it took you what, nine months to gain it. So it's going to take you at least that much to lose it. And so I thought like after a year, I would have lost the weight. Um, I didn't. I lost a big chunk like right after. I think like right after I had her, like 20 pounds or something peeled off, maybe almost 30. But I got down, like I was looking at some messages because I was talking to a friend that's really into fitness and I had sent her my stats um, to try to figure out like where I should be calorie wise and whatnot. And that was like 25 pounds less than what I am now, maybe 20 to 25. So that means in like the last year ish, two year and a half, I've gained that weight back. And that's just like not cool. Cause I was still, so from that weight, I still needed to lose like 20 to 25 pounds to get to where I was pre-pregnancy so like I'm back up quite a lot so my hair is not, I just did my hair yesterday and it's already like dying on me here um and it's already just like flat and kinky and whatever and now my camera battery is flashing great so anyways um gaining that much weight back you know and never having lost what like I needed to lose from pregnancy I'm just kind of like oh my gosh so three years out from having a baby I'm back up to like where I was right after I had her and uh no like and it's not just I mean yeah I will I'll be honest like physically I don't like it I don't like the way I look and that's just in all honesty but on the other side of that it's not healthy like I am like medically I would be considered over overweight and um, my family has had health issues and I don't want to have those same issues like I want to be healthy and this is something I can control sometimes you can't control certain health issues that happen but obesity is something that um, I can control and when you're obese like that increases your odds of cancer or certain types of cancer and um, I just want, I need to take care of myself and I want to like look in the mirror and feel good about myself. Um, I can't fit in my clothes, like most of my clothes, because I had lost like a lot of weight and so I had bought new clothes. With those clothes that I had bought, I don't fit into anymore because I have gained weight. And it started, like I was down lower than what I am now and the first time we went back to California for the summer, I 
gain 10 pounds. So I gained 10 pounds from that. So all last year, where did my brush go? So all last year, I didn't gain any more weight, but I didn't lose that 10 pounds that I had gained when we were in California. So then when we went to California this past summer, I gained another 10 pounds. So that is where I'm at. So that's 20 pounds in a year. That, blah, 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 not, not good. So the fact that I have to now buy, like I just bought a new pair of jeans because I can't fit into my other ones. Like to me, that's ridiculous. And I need to do something about it. Um, a lot of like, there's been this issue of being in chronic back pain all the time that um, I haven't been exercising much, but really like the first thing and the easiest thing should be is to change your eating. And I'm like, well, I don't even eat that bad. But like, that's the thing is I'm not eating, even if you're not eating enough, you're not going to lose weight. Um, skipping breakfast and going like half the day without food, not good. And I've talked about this before, you know, and it's like I've said it and then I just don't follow through. Like I haven't done anything to change um, or I haven't done enough to change, I think. And that's a problem. You know, I just, you know, gaining the weight is easy, losing it is not. So gaining 10 pounds when we were in California, the reason why is because we were eating out a lot. Well, we're not eating out a lot now, but that weight is hard to lose. Um, so anyways, there's just like multiple reasons, you know, like I'm not gonna like lie and say, oh yeah, I, I like the way I look. No, I don't. Um, I have always been like, normal body weight. Um, I used to be like too skinny just growing up and I was very active. Um, I wasn't unhealthy, but you know, like it was fine. And then I just, I've always been like, okay, like a good weight, nothing like too crazy. And now I'm not. And I don't know, whenever I wanted to lose weight in the past, it was never like that hard. This time it's, it's hard. Um, you know, and I think the fact that I did end up having a C-section definitely uh, kind of makes the tummy area a little bit harder to work on. But when you're losing weight, like you can't do target weight loss, like it's all over weight loss. But um, definitely there is fat hanging out around my middle and you don't want that. That contribute to, can contribute to a lot of other issues um, health wise. So, yeah, things have got to change, y'all. So if you have, like, if you've had to battle with, you know, especially after having a baby, like, losing that weight, feel free to comment. Or if anyone, like, you know, and this isn't a, oh my gosh, we need to lose weight because, you know, I don't know. I don't want to trigger anyone that's had... If any of you have had like um, an eating disorder, like this isn't to trigger you at all, um, and I hope that it doesn't. And feel free, you know, not to to watch um, for my own health and for my own happiness of of wanting to be in a different place, body wise. You know, I just need to do something and change that and. For some people it's really really easy and it's not for me I think that like I think that eating is my kind of like addiction um, where I may not eat a ton like during the day but at nighttime definitely like I want to snack on popcorn or frozen yogurt and that obviously doesn't lend to being healthier and how do I keep losing things when I've just used them? Seriously. I just want to curl my eyelashes, okay? So that is uh, kind of what I've been going through. I, you know, I've definitely been unhappy where it's made me like not want to 
like go places because I don't feel good in my clothes and I've been resisting buying new clothes because I'm like, no, I don't want to waste money on clothes and I'm going to lose the weight. Well, I'm obviously not losing it as fast as I um, thought I would. And the, when I had seen my doctor in the spring, like that was my homework over the summer was to lose weight, um, especially for like my back issues. Like she told me like to work on that and then we would talk um, this fall. Well, not only did I not lose weight, I gained weight. And, um, like, I'm scared to go see her. I'm scared to go talk to my doctor and be like, yeah, I gained, uh, whoops. So I need to do something different. That is for sure. Cause what I'm doing is not working. And, um, I don't know. This month is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and my grandma had breast cancer. Um, so far, my mom hasn't had breast cancer, but obesity can increase your chances of breast cancer. And I, you know, I do want to make sure that I am doing what I can on my end to be healthy. So just making sure I take care of myself and my health. This is all repetitive now. <laughs> but and also setting a good example for my daughter. I want to make sure that she sees me living a healthy lifestyle, especially in this day and age. Like kids used to be super, super active and that's like becoming less and less. And you know, I need to make sure that she has a healthy outlook on all that. This is my favorite lip tint right now. It's um, Peyton by Brija. Good job, Brianna. This, I love this stuff. Mm -mm -mm. It just gives you a nice little bit of color and it goes on really smooth. So this is not like a glamorous look at all. It's just, well, it's better than nothing, I guess. I'm going to go outside of the house and I'm not going to scare people. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like what my like little mission is, is like get healthy mission and hopefully I can adhere to it and instead of talking about it, I'll actually be able to do something about it and um, be able to tell you that I've succeeded in certain areas. So yeah, um, I hope you guys are all doing well and uh, talk to you all soon. Bye. Thank you.